Okay, we're back. Um, so we're going to take a look at everything they uh, sent me. Now, keep in mind, um, I'm going to tell you the model again, which is the Olight MR2 or M2R Warrior. I, I do realize they have a newer version out. I've actually wanted the older version for a variety of reasons, so I'm not really going to go and get into right now. Now, I like I happen to get this as a kind of a bundle package. It comes with the, the case, the flashlight, um, the lanyard, and a uh, battery. Uh, we're going to kind of go into the battery a little bit later. Um, so we're going to kind of cover the case first, which is nice. This is not a cheap case. Um, this is uh, actually a really great added bonus. Ballistic nylon. It does have a um, front clasp, uh, which is uh, really rugged and flap. I th think it has drainage holes at the top and the bottom. They don't have any kind of uh, rivets in these holes. They're just simply um, sewn all the way around, which is fine uh, for the price point. I think I paid around uh, $80 for this. Um, now, it does have a D-ring at the back right here. Which is nice because you can use a carabiner and attach it to uh, a variety of situations, to a backpack, uh, uniform belt, or whatever. Now it does have this snap right here, which I'm not going to snap because it's kind of hard to put back on. Uh, I believe you can use this in, um, I'm trying to think of the word here, Molly webbing, uh, capable. It's actually got two loops, the top loops for the... Um, uh, the Molly webbing and it does have a inner loop that's sewn attached that I, I believe is really made for a belt loop because it's uh, a lot shorter and I know it's a little hard to see so um, and yep and this is a really great added bonus which is one of the reasons why I picked this one so we're going to take a look at the flashlight itself and the, the design, um, it does have two switches. One is the tail switch, um, which is um, you can put in uh, one or two ways, tactical mode or just the regular mode. A uh, regular mode, you basically can um, do a momentary. Um, you can just uh, depress it halfway and it will um, turn on, or you push it all the way in and it will stay on. Tactical mode, it you can't leave it on. It's just all momentary. Um, so you slightly depress it, you'll get high beam, and then all the way in you will get a strobe. And then once you release it, it just automatically turns it off. Side switch, you can also uh, also basically do the same thing and set all your different modes. And then you'd need that with the tail cap to put it in and out of tactical mode. Uh, built of all um, aircraft aluminum, it is very rugged. And it does come with an S-clip, which is removable, and you can put it uh, down here in reverse. But usually, uh, this S-clip, you don't necessarily need to do that. So you can put it one of two ways in this way, or of course, on top, uh, the other way around as well, which is really nice. And it has this hexagon shape at the uh, top portion, which is, I believe, for anti-roll. It kind of prevents the flashlight from rolling around. Now, of course, without the S-clip attached, um, if you don't use it or need it, then it would have a tendency to roll if it was all um, round circular shape. Okay, the um, bezel right here, um, it does kind of have that blue uh, tinge on it you can see right here. Now, it is kind of serrated. This was designed to be tactical, so you could actually use this as an impact weapon of last resort. Um, because this is made really for a tactical or security guard or th uh, things of that nature. Um, I believe it uses a Cree um, LED light. I can't remember. I meant to look that up, which I forgot before I made this video. Um, but it is very, right, uh, very bright. And as you can see, I got my cheat sheet right here. I'm going to go over this. It does have um, turbo mode, which can, can go to 1500 lumens. Now keep in mind, to get the lumens, you need to have a high discharge battery, 
which I'm going to cover uh, a little bit later. And uh, it won't stay on totally on turbo mode forever. It will eventually cycle down, I believe, high because um, it'll overheat, which is a negative for this uh, flashlight. You do have high, medium one, medium two, low, and moonlight lo mode, which I love as well, which I'm going to go over here shortly. But first, I'm going to go through the entire flashlight. So, very bright flashlight. Um, it does come with a lanyard loop right here. And uh, they even come with a piece of metal to because it's so small, it's very hard to... And let me see if I can get this out for you. And uh, no, it's so small, I can't even get it out of the box. But it actually, it'll help uh, you thread that through there. And uh, it's a little tool. And I just kind of left that on there in, in case I wanted to use it. So also, we're going to open it up and take a look at a few things. Now, it does have an O-ring right here. And I it is water resistant. And it, I think it is even waterproof for uh, uh, supposedly one hour for maybe up to 10 feet. I can't remember the, the specs on that. What I also like about this flashlight is the threads. It utilizes, um, these are not sharp threads, they're actually flat. So you don't have to worry a uh, lot less of a chance to be cross-threaded if you, and, and it's hard to put on the, uh, if you put it on the wrong way, so it won't, um, it prevents cross threading because it uses the th thre flat threads on the very top rather than pointed um, sharp threads, which I, I like as well. Um, I already have another battery, so I don't need to show you that. And here's a little bit into the tail cap, which is also um, a switch as well, a momentary switch and on and off switch. Momentary just to press it halfway, then um, on and off switch all the way down. And so we're going to put this back together. And then we're going to go over uh, the battery. We're going to make sure it's on nice and tight there for us. And we're just going to leave that right there just f for now. Now the battery, I just happened to have a battery case for this, and it was for a different reason. I bought something off of uh, Amazon. They happen to have a battery case, which happens to be the right one for the battery. Now I bought two of them, uh, one in case I wanted to just um, throw in, and I could use it extended time without having to recharge it. Now to get the full lumen in, lumens, um, which is I believe 1500, you need to have a certain battery. You can use some of their lower capacity batteries, but it, it won't go on uh, 1500 lumens. It'll do like a thousand, I think. Now this one's from Olight, and I have two of them. One came with the uh, flashlight, and one I bought separate. So I have two of them. Uh, this is uh, Olight. This is the 18650 uh, lithium ion. This is uh, 3500 milliamps at 3.6 volts. And hopefully you can see that um, it's a little bit shiny right there. So if you have this kind of battery, um, it's great for extended use and it will give you the full lumens if you happen to need it as well. And then you can even buy a case for it, which I happen to have. So um, you can fit two batteries in here. Uh, this one happens to be the Edison Bright, I guess. Uh, I can't remember what they gave it to me for, but it wasn't a anything related to flashlight batteries or even flashlight itself. But so uh, we'll go over a little bit of some of the um, modes. And um, now it, it has a memory in here. It will, when you turn it on again, it will use the last setting you had it on the last, which is very useful. Now to cycle through all the modes using the side switch, you just um, depress it for a long press and it will go to the moonlight mode. I love the moonlight mode because it's only one lumen and since this is a tactical flashlight, this was designed if you're out in the field and you don't want the enemy to see your, you know, your flashlight so it goes to the lowest setting possible. Um, so hopefully I won't be able to see, see your location and um, 
we'll try to do it where you can it may um oversaturate the camera but is it even on <laughs> and we're actually one lumen uh, right there moonlight mode so this is great for camping um, security guards or whatever so if you don't want to wake somebody up set it to one lumen and you can find something in the dark which I have used because I don't want to wake up my family in the bed next to me um, so moonlight mode is great and to cycle through all of them you simply long press again to the next highest mode and I believe that is um, I can't remember exactly all the modes I think the next one is um, low we're gonna go cycle to low Maybe we'll do it here so you can see it a little bit better. It'll probably white out the camera. Oh, it already cycled through all that. Let's do it again. Okay, there's the uh, moonlight mode. Oh, I just shut it off. Wow. Okay, I think that's low. And uh, what is that again? That is... 15 lumens. Wow, well, that's still quite a bit brighter. Um, go to medium. And it's getting brighter still. Medium one. They have two mediums, I guess. And high. And we're going to go to turbo. We're going to probably white out the camera. Oh, I guess that was high. Here it's showing um, two mediums. And I'm guessing this version doesn't have it. They're probably using this for um, two different kind of flashlights. That's why it has medium one and two. I guess it only has one medium, but to, to take you through all of the um, settings. Now, you also can do the strobe. I think that's a great thing to have in a self-defense tactical flashlight. And I even looked up the strobe feature, and it turns out there is such a thing as strobe affecting um, disorienting your the enemy or whoever you're doing it to in a self-defense situation and when it originally started it happened I believe in the military um, there was cases where lights off of uh, reflections off of rotor blades from a helicopter would uh, it, it, make a strobe into the pilot and it actually caused him to crash so they researched that and they found out that it a certain strobe at it's a, a certain many cycles per minute would cause disorientation of the pilots so they utilize this in uh, tactical flashlights and uh, to get this on the side switch you simply press it three times really fast oh, I, I didn't do it there we go and um, now to, to really get this to work, you really need to be, it won't work when you're far away. You have to be within, um, I think, I think 50 feet to be effective or 25 to 50 feet. If you're um, more than a room length away, it's not really going to work. Uh, it has to be fairly, you know, within uh, close distance uh, to get that disorienting effect. And you can also, I think, press it. Let me see what we do when we press it twice. It goes on high, I think. And um, they also have different features and functions. I'm not going to go through them all. So, um, like I said, this isn't the newest version. This is uh, the uh, the first version, and they have the version 2. I believe the uh, with version 2, it does have three tripod legs that kind of stick out and I can't remember what they utilize for that but and as you can tell this is all smooth right here and just to show you and I forgot to mention um, this is with many of the Olight flashlights um, it utilizes a magnetic recharging plug and um, you would simply just stick that to the tail cap and using a USB 2 connection you can um, plug that in and recharge the internal battery and uh, I don't have it hooked up right now but it, it will go from um, when it's red it's it's meaning it's recharging the battery and once it turns green then it is fully recharged now I do have a um, I forgot what the other version is it's made for a Picatinny rail and the other flashlights may not 
work on this one. In fact, they are, um, when you try to put it on there and stick it magnetically, it will actually, uh, I'm trying to think, repulse, uh, repulse away. It won't allow you to put the, um, if you use like the wrong version. I don't know if they do that on purpose, just so you have to buy another one which many companies do, or it's made for a different voltage or something like that. I don't know. So I always love the uh, magnetic recharging. They even have a version, a desktop version, where you lay it down, which I was thinking of getting. Um, and you lay it down and you stick it on vertically, just like a um, cell phone. You would just stick on a, um, on a recharging pad and you re recharge it wirelessly and you stick it on there which the base is magnetic as well now I didn't get that one because um, it's so small that it has to have suction cups and it's kind of, it's kind of a weird way of doing it because it has to uh, have something to stick it on uh, onto the bottom because if you try to remove it you have to it would take the base off the uh, the table so you'd simply have to pull it away the magnetic uh, base so um, there it is the uh, Olight MR2 Warrior a great flashlight for everyday use or um, for police um, security guards um, it is a home defense depending on what you want to use it for great durable and uh, so I wanted to show you that I, I wanted to really finally released this video on the uh, demo review of this flashlight till then see you guys later and thanks for watching